In this video, we'll demonstrate how to print with Uniprint by first connecting to the application server through RDP. We'll open a Word document and then print to Uniprint. We'll also edit the Uniprint printer properties and set up email and archiving so that we can save and email the print job through the application server. There are two ways to email and save your print jobs. The first way is through the application server and the second way is through the Uniprint client. We'll be demonstrating both methods in this video. We'll also apply password protection and demonstrate previewing and printing through the Uniprint viewer. But before we start, let's see what happens to your print jobs when you click Print. First an ICA or RDP session is started by logging into the application server. A license is then checked out from the license server. From an open application you click Print. A PDF is generated on the application server and then transferred back to the workstation. Uniprint Client receives the PDF and instructs the appropriate printer driver on your workstation to create a RAW file. Since RAW files are printer model dependent, it is then transferred to the appropriate printer for printing. Now let's go to the Windows 7 workstation and log into the application server. To start an RDP session, double-click Remote Desktop Connection. Enter the IP address of the application server and then click Connect. Let's open a Word document and then print it. Click the File tab. Click Print. Ensure that the Uniprint printer has been selected. The first method to archive and email the print job is to do it through the application server. To do this, click Printer Properties. First, let's change the paper size. From the Paper Size list, select Letter. Now let's look at sending the print job as an email attachment. Click Email. Select Send Email. Enter the recipient's address, the subject, and a message. There's another setting below. Always use these settings. I don't recommend using this since each time you print you'll be sending an email to the address above. The best practice would be to email your print jobs on a job by job basis. Click OK to clear the warning message. Clear always use these settings. Click OK. A green check mark will appear to indicate that this feature has been enabled. To archive the print job as a PDF, click Save. To enable the archiving feature, select Save Document. To change the file name and location, click Browse. Enter a file name and then click Save. Again at the bottom, there's Always Use These Settings. This setting will save your documents each and every time you print. Click OK to clear the warning message. Click OK. Again, a green check mark will appear to indicate that the Save feature has been enabled. Now let's look at other configuration settings. Click the Advanced tab. Click Image Settings. If you recall from the configuration video, we set the color option on the application server to grayscale. So these settings are acceptable. Click Cancel. Now let's set Password Protection. Click the General tab. Select Use PDF Encryption. Enter a four-digit PIN twice. This password will be required to open the PDF later. And then select Always Use. If Always Use is selected, your PDF documents will be encrypted and password protected each and every time you print. Click OK to clear the warning message. Click OK again. Click Print. Enter the four-digit PIN and then click OK. Uniprint Preview will launch since we enabled it in the Uniprint Client settings. The second method of archiving and emailing your print jobs is through Uniprint Client instead of through the application server. Click Save As. Let's save it to our desktop again. Enter a file name. And then click Save. To email through Uniprint Client, click Email. This launches the default email program on your workstation. The print job is attached as a PDF. It's ready for a message and then all you need to do is click send. 
Since I don't really want to email this, close the email message. Now let's print the document. There are two options, print and quick print. Select print to select a different printer or to change printer properties. Select quick print to print the PDF directly to your default printer. Let's click print. Select a printer and then click print. Now let's close the Uniprint viewer. The PDF is saved to the session's desktop when save is enabled from the server. Let's open it to make sure this is the right document. Double click lorem ipsum from server. Since PDF security was enabled, enter a four digit PIN and then click OK. And here is the lorem ipsum document. Now let's close it and look at the PDF saved through the Uniprint client. First, let's log out of the application server. When saving through the Uniprint viewer, the PDF is saved to the workstation. Let's open this document as well. Again, enter a four-digit PIN and then click OK. And here it is. As you can see, both methods save the print job as a PDF. They're just saved to different locations. The server saves the PDF to the session and the client saves the PDF to the workstation. Now let's close Adobe Reader. I hope this video demonstrates how easy Uniprint is to use. Uniprint does not create a huge learning curve for your users, and your users will still be able to print as they are accustomed to. Thank you for watching this short video. If you have any questions regarding Uniprint, check out our forum or feel free to contact us at support at uniprint.net.